I bet most of you know the traditional nursery rhyme, Humpty Dumpty. You know, the one that goes, Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall, Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. All the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put Humpty together again. Some of you may even know that the nursery rhyme was first printed over 200 years ago in Lewis Carroll's book, Alice Through the Looking Glass where Humpty Dumpty is shown as an egg. This was in the year 1810. However, this very old traditional nursery rhyme goes back much earlier than this. Now, before I tell you about the real Humpty Dumpty, you should know that Humpty Dumpty was a common nickname used in the 15th century England to describe large, heavy people. So let me tell you about the real Humpty Dumpty. First of all, we need to go back many, many years to a time here in England, there was a civil war. It was between the Cavaliers and the Roundheads. At this time, 1648, Colchester, where I was a teacher for 16 years, was an important city with a Roman castle and several churches all protected by the city wall that had been built by the Romans. It was a city that supported the king, so was on the side of the Cavaliers. During the siege of Colchester, the 15th century tower of a church known as St Mary's by the wall was badly damaged. Why? Well, on the 15th of June, 1648, The church was strengthened against the attack from the roundheads by putting a huge heavy cannon on the roof. Cannons at this time were very heavy and moving them, even the smallest ones, took many men. That's probably why they called it, yep, you guessed it, Humpty Dumpty. The cavalier gunner known as One-Eyed Jack Thompson fired the cannon. And by doing this, he caused a lot of damage to Lord Fairfax's attacking roundhead troops. One-eyed Jack Thompson's success made many of the roundheads fire at the church roof. And as a result, sometime during the 15th of July, Thompson and Humpty Dumpty, his gun, came tumbling down. Humpty Dumpty, the cannon, was damaged so much that it could not be put back onto the church again. It didn't matter how hard the king's men, the cavaliers, tried. This wasn't good for the king's men. And on August the 28th, 1648, the royalists lay down their weapons, opened the gates of Colchester and surrendered to the roundheads. Not long after, The Roundheads won the war and Charles I, as you can see here, was executed. Is all this true? Well, whether this legend is true or not, the idea of Humpty Dumpty as a large cannon makes a great story. I don't think anyone knows exactly who or what Humpty Dumpty was, but the traditional nursery rhyme is passed on from person to person. Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. All the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put Humpty together again.